Well, hello, you know, America. This is old Jim Bob over here. I'm mad. And I've been on the, trying to get some stuff done on the telephone, and I've been trying to get some stuff done on the computer, and I'm mad about it. I'll tell you, I'm so mad I could eat a box of nails and, and digest them, everything. It really got me upset. And uh, something got to be done about it. I don't know what he did, but I'm going to figure it out. But I'm really mad. But I got a bill, first thing, I got a bill from the doctor. And uh, I got the Medicare, that's the communist Medicare. And uh, I got me them a supplemental insurance to go along with it. So that uh, fills in the, the, the gap, they said, a bit of gap. Fills that up. So I ain't supposed to have to pay nothing when I go to the doctor. And I ain't paid nothing when I go to the doctor. I paid all to the insurance company up front. And then I go to the doctor and I don't have to pay nothing. And that's the way I like it. I don't want it changed. That's the way I like it. Anyhow, I called on up there to the doctor and I said, well, it shouldn't be too hard. The doctor's a pretty nice seller. I like him okay. And I called up there and it, that's what got me mad. But every time I call the doctor, it ain't just the doctor, it's the cable TV, it's the doctor, it's uh, uh, pretty much just about anywhere you want to call for any kind of service today. It's all the same and it's just getting worse and worse and worse and I'm getting tired of it and it's making me mad. Now here's how it goes. Phone rings and a pretty little girl's voice comes on to it and says, uh, that's here at the doctor's office. Our office hours are between this here and that there. And uh, if you got an emergency, uh, you need to hang up and call the 911. Well, hell, you'll be dead by the time you get that done in there. So anyway, and it said, now, uh, if you want to make an appointment, you punch number this one. If you want to get a prescription filled up, you punch this number over here. And if you want to... Uh, do this, that, and the other. You punch this number over there, and then you know, it goes on, and it goes on, and it goes on, and it goes on, and a whole big list of stuff. I mean, I'm talking about 10 or 15 things. And by the time I get through with it, well, hell, I don't forgot which one I'm supposed to punch. So, anyhow, I had to uh, uh, start all over again. I hung up and called back over there again. And, uh, this time I was paying attention to as soon as I heard the, what number I was supposed to hit, I hit it. And so I hit that number. It was number three. So if you want to know which number it was, it was number three. Cause it, it's number three to talk about a bill. It's number one to oh, I've got this to memorize here pretty good. Number one is to make an appointment. Number two is to fill the prescriptions. And number three is if it ain't got something discrepancies in your bill. And so I hit number three. Well, yeah, it says, uh, that person is on the phone right now, and they uh, can't come to the phone, and goodbye. And the damn some bitch hung up on me, and I, uh, boy, I tell you what, I, I got up from here and walked around the house a little bit. And if I'd had a dog, I'd have beat him with a stick, but I don't have a dog. It's a good thing, because the poor thing would probably be dead by now. So that's, that's for one thing. The other thing that's really got me mad was the Google. So see, uh, uh, Google and me is in the partnership on a doing this uh, video blogging. Call it blogging. Video blogging is called vlogging. Just to get you up to date on that. So, uh, we're in the partnership on it, and and because uh, uh, Google owns the YouTube. You see, if you didn't know that, Google bought the YouTube because they, they they buy everything just about. So, anyhow, that's all right. So, uh, uh, somebody been complaining about my chair, and uh, so I figured I needed to make some more money and get me some better furniture in here if I wanted to get some more viewerships. Because that person complained about chair and got me no more viewers. Anyhow, uh, so I put the monetarizing on it. You go on there and you click on it, it monetarizes it. And uh, 
and, and that seems, well, it weren't simple. That's the one thing about Google. They don't make nothing easy. But you go on there and you read what it says and you figure out, well, I, I can read. I ought to be able to do this. And it says, just uh, read this. And then, uh, um, but when you read that, it don't make any sense. And then it said to click on this other thing, which I did. And I filled out a thing. It's called AdSense. Well, it don't make any sense, but that's what the name I gave it, AdSense. And when you click on the AdSense, they will put some ads on your money, and you probably get a few pennies. So I think that's what the sense part of it is. So I clicked on there, filled it all out, and it then sent it on in. And they said, well, we'll get back to you. So it got a message come up. It said, we'll get back to you in a few days on approval of your application. I said, well, all right, well, by God, whew, man, it took, I didn't tell you in the beginning is how long it took me just to get to that part. But anyway, I got through that part and got to it. So, the other day, I gets me an email that says, uh, we're sorry, but uh, we can't approve your AdSense under uh, Jim Bob's commentary channel on account of you had an AdSense before under a different email address and uh, you just go on over there to that email address AdSense and hook up on it and you'll be fine. I said okay I can do that. So I went on over there and, uh, and tried to uh, just uh, give you a little click on the go to. So I clicked on that I went on over there and uh, sure enough it said we, this uh, email has been deleted and once you delete an email with uh, Google you can't never get it back and I know that when I deleted it I deleted it because I was getting a bunch of spammers on it and uh, so and then it says uh, that's it you can't go no further <laughs> golly so uh, what am I going to do now so I went on their help thing and Went around there and tried to get in to talk to somebody, and it just kept going me around the back end of the same place that I'd started with. And, uh, by God, I got so upset. I wrote them, I did get, they said, uh, did this help, yes or no? And I put no. And it said, well, tell me why. And I says, because you can't talk to nobody over there. Over there. Ain't no wonder why people hate you so bad. Uh, you know, and uh, of course, they don't nobody read them emails anyhow. So, uh, and then I went on to some other roundabouts and back and forth, and I ain't never got it straightened out. You, I could never even get an email to explain it to nobody. There ain't no way to hook it into an email or get it out there to tell nobody about it. So that's the thing about the Googles. They're, they're out there, they're live people, but damn, you ain't going to talk to none of them, I can tell you that much. And uh, the incognito is what they are. They even have a search term called incognito, in case you didn't know that. Hey, just like Microsoft, Microsoft is the same way. I'm probably going to get sued over this, and I don't care, I ain't got no money anyways. Because uh, I ain't got no AdSense money, they won't, I can't make no money because they won't sign me up for the AdSense. So sue the hell out of me, I don't care. Um, anyways, uh, uh, where was I? Oh, Microsoft is the same way. Uh, they've come up with all these uh, Windows 10. I got the Windows 10, and uh, there's some weird stuff going on with my computer after I got it. I thought it was okay, but the stuff just... Uh, changes on my computer I don't even do nothing about it it just changes like a I had me a thing where my well, email come in and go ta-da I like that you know it's a different sound and I and uh, it changed that and I go back and change it back to where my ta-da come in and and wake up the next day and it was their little bitty boom bitty boom whatever it is that they got if they're doing stuff back there in the background, I don't know what the hell's going on. Anyhow, I'm mad, and I, I'm, I'm going to get over it on account of, you get sick when you get mad. You can't hold no grudges. I'm trying not to hold no grudges against the Google and the Microsoft people, but uh, and especially my doctor. But I'm telling you, it's awful hard. So anyways, uh, I hope I'm going to calm down now. I'm going to try to relax a little bit. 
I'm going to go over and take me a nap. It's about three in the afternoon now, so I think I'm going to go take me a nap. Maybe things will be all right. Well, hell, you know, I can't even take a nap no more in the afternoon because I've got dead gum restless leg syndrome stuff in it. They won't let me take a nap. But anyway, I'm going to try to calm down. So that's it. Jim's